Howdy, uh, I'm Lee, and that's as far as I got actually planning this before I started to overthink everything, so awesome. Um, <laughs> I identify as a non-binary, transmasculine, transgender person. And if that made no sense to you whatsoever, then brilliant, it means you're in the right place. And if you actually did understand, understand what that meant, then you are absolutely very, very welcome as, day, as well. So either way, hello. <laughs> Um, I'm hoping that with these vlogs I'll be able to teach some people about some stuff maybe they don't know, um, maybe help dispel some myths, add some genuine kind of new or at least another narrative to kind of ideas about what it means to be transgender, uh, maybe help to improve the world just that teeny tiny little bit by helping other people understand each other a little better. So let's start with what the hell did I just say earlier? <laughs> okay, uh, transgender, you probably already aware, it means someone who identifies as something other than the gender that they were assigned at birth. Non-binary is a little more complex. It means someone who identifies as something that is other than entirely male or entirely female, which could be somewhere in between those genders or no gender at all, or something completely different altogether. There's a lot of different terms which mean a lot of different things, and they can get super confusing, and we'll get into some of those at a later date, but for now that's your basic understanding right there. Okay, <laughs> and as for transmasculine being how I identify, it means for me that I find myself more on the side of what our culture defines and what feels to me as being masculine. I still have and I love my feminine side, but most of me tends to feel masculine most of the time. As a socially constructed version of a gender, transmasculine fits what I feel myself to be. So okay, really quick primer, <laughs> very, very quick primer on who I am, and that was it. Okay, um, I just want to finish this off by saying a couple of really simple things. The best way to learn and accept who a person is, is to listen to who they tell you that they are. It's the first and most basic, bare minimum amount of respect that another human being deserves from you. What you can do with a transgender person or any human being, it's kind of a good lesson in general, is to listen to who they tell you that they are. Accept who they tell you that they are, even if it's a little different to what you're used to, even if it takes a little bit of work from you to get used to, calling them by a different pronoun or a different name or to see them as something that they tell you that they are. It, sometimes it takes a little work, but you know, another human being deserves that work because they are as, as important as any anything inside your discomfort zone. Yes, it means you've got to learn a, li a little bit sometimes, but you know what? That's kind of part of being alive. You need to learn, you need to expand and you need to understand that other people deserve the same love, the same respect that you yourself would hope for from them. And if that means a little bit of awkwardness to begin with, as you figure stuff out, that's okay. It's generally understood that you have to make an adjustment and you have a learning curve. That's cool. As long as you're willing to take that step onto the learning curve, then generally, we're going to be okay. So that's that. That's my first one. Look forward to the next one when I'm going to tell you a little bit about what it actually means to me, for me to be transgender. Until then, um, have a great weekend or week or whatever it happens to be when you're watching this. <laughs> and take care. Thank you.